Hello, my name is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra. I'm the director of music at Doctors Charter School of Miami Shores here in Florida. I teach band, orchestra, chorus, and music of the world. I would like to welcome all of my students and parents back to a brand new school year of in-person learning. This video will provide you with some brief information to get us started for our new school year. Please enjoy this video. In the first few weeks of the school year, band, orchestra, and chorus students spend a great deal of time reviewing their music theory, which is how to read and write music, and are now beginning to play their musical instruments in band and orchestra, and the chorus is beginning to sing, and they're all practicing their music for the upcoming winter concert in December. In these performing arts classes, parents may be noticing in the grade book that I am beginning to assess students on their playing abilities and their singing abilities uh, on a bi-weekly basis. And also, they're going to be turning in something called a practice chart. The practice chart is basically a chart where the students are logging in the amount of minutes that they are practicing each week. They should have a total of 120 minutes, and they're also writing down their musical goals for the week. So parents should be noticing that they should be signing off on this on a bi-weekly basis and it is uploaded into our Canvas learning system. In band and chorus class you will notice that we are wearing masks and for good reason because of COVID-19. This is a special chorus singing mask and I highly recommend that parents of the students in these classes explore the various masks that are for sale for either singing or playing a musical instrument. And in some cases, we're making our own masks, so that way um, we don't have any problems spreading COVID-19 in our music class. These are just examples off of the internet that you can explore and uh, make sure that your child has for class. Music of the World introduces students to music from a variety of cultures from around the world. This course will include styles and methods of making music, music's relationship to religion, social structure, language, politics, philosophy and aesthetics, and the impact of historical migration and dispersions of ethnic groups. Students will also be exposed to music history, appreciation, listening, theory, and composing throughout the school year. Activities will include analyzing and describing music, evaluating music and music performances, and understanding relationships between music and the other arts, as well as disciplines outside of the arts. This is a brief introduction of Canvas, and Canvas is an online learning platform that we use at our school in order to help facilitate learning. And last year, it was used exclusively with Zoom, and uh, this year we're going to be not doing the Zoom because we're going to be in person and for the performing ensembles this is going to be uh, integrated into our curriculum with smart music maybe and for students taking music of the world this is where your material will mainly be um, but it's good for students to be familiar with Canvas, know how to submit their assignments, email their teachers if they have questions some classes will actually be taking quizzes and tests through this online learning platform. And here's the front page and it may change every week. On the left hand side you're going to see home, zoom, grades, modules, all kinds of things will be put over on that side and you'll even have class announcements inside of this portal. I would highly suggest that even though you're in person that you do need to check your Canvas portal every day to see what's coming up in the classroom, what's going to happen that day, what's going to happen that week, or what's going to be happening next week. One thing to note for students and parents is that grades will not be posted in Canvas. Grades will be posted exclusively in the Pinnacle Gradebook by Dade County Public Schools. So please check out that website and this is where you're going to be finding your grades for your child or for you if you are the student in that class. All of these different colors represent the different categories that are also associated with the syllabus that is associated with the class that you are taking. So if you're in course, you're going to have different categories than those people that are in music of the world. Students are given two grades per week and the participation grade is an accumulative grade, meaning it's an average of that student's participation in class each week. And that does 
coincide or go along with the actual attendance of a student participating in class. So parents and students, please make sure that you pay attention to the attendance policies that we have at our school and how when a student has unexcused absences that that may affect their academic grade. Throughout the school year, I would like to plan a variety of different field trips so that students can be inspired by seeing musicians performing live. And this is one of them. This is called Jazz Roots and it's sponsored by the Adrian R. Center. So please look out for my emails about these wonderful field trips, not only to the Adrian R. Center for Jazz Roots, but also field trips to the University of Miami to get the opportunity to see their opera program. And you never know, there could be a special field trip at the end of the school year. Music concerts, activities, and field trips are all dependent upon how we navigate COVID-19 in the next few months. So parents, I highly encourage you to read my newsletters that come out through email every so often and respond to them if you have any questions or concerns. And I also want to encourage you to get involved in the music department. I want to encourage you to help us fundraise money for these trips. And I want to encourage you to also just give of your time for either a concert or any kind of field trip that we may have coming up throughout the school year. This is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that we have a successful and safe new school year. If you are a student or parent at Doctors Charter School and you have any questions or concerns about any of the information in this video or in Canvas, please make sure that you get my email in Canvas or on the school website at www.doctorscharterschool.org and please email me. Again, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.